But the good news is, in all the time that I've been doing this work, and people mm-hmm. I know have been doing it for longer than me, we are at a point now That's right. where I think we can actually win Medicare for All, mm-hmm. despite the fact that for years the, the corporate media has portrayed Medicare for All as a negative and mm-hmm. told people single payer is socialized and it's terrible, yeah. Yeah, that's and just, you know all yeah. this bad stuff. People still, majorities of the population wanted it, and now we're seeing mm-hmm. support that levels I've never even seen before. So this is a very exciting we're time. We're seeing Republican support going up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, among Republican voters. Yeah. yeah, we're seeing majorities of some Republican populations. It's really amazing. And, and so the support is super majority support. It's 60% support right. for the general population. Demo- Republicans are getting into the 40s. Democrats are about 80%. And so you're getting this much broader. And I think a lot of it's because, first off, we see the failure of the Affordable Care Act. Mm-hmm. Obamacare is not working. Um, sure, more people are covered, mainly by Medicaid, which is not very good medicine. That's medicine for the poor. Uh, and while it is better than nothing, it is still not good health care. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so that's, yes, they got it, but it's not necessarily the victory we want uh, because people need to have good health care. Mm-hmm. And then, then, you, then you're seeing the premiums going up. You're seeing the deduct- deductibles going up. You're seeing the co-pays going up. You're seeing the networks that they cover shrinking. Mm-hmm. So you're paying more, getting less, and you're seeing these astronomical increases in profit for the insurance industry. So Obamacare is not working. Now the Republicans are trying to fix some of that. I mean, they're, you know, well, the, fix well, in their well, way. well, I mean, one of the things that one of the things in Obamacare that's terrible and the Republicans don't like also right. is people are forced to buy right. insurance. Yeah, right. that's insurance. That's that obscene. No How sense. can you have the yeah. government forcing you to buy any product? Right. Especially when that doesn't work. Very Especially well. when that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. by, by a mafia. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, it's crazy. So um, that bothers the Republican uh, ad, uh, advocates for you know repealing Obamacare. And there's other issues, too, of course, that need work. But and everyone, you know, it's interesting about the debate about repealing uh, the ACA is everyone agrees it needs, it's not working. Mm-hmm. Right. Even the defenders of the ACA, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's got to be fixed. Mm-hmm. Well, now the Republicans have tried twice so far. They're about to try a third time to fix the ACA. And what they find out is when they try to go further to the market, they actually do more harm than good. Mm-hmm. Right. Tens of millions more will not have insurance. Uh, prices will go up. They're not controlling prices. Uh, that The deficit in the government will go up. So everything they try actually makes things worse. Right. You know why? Because the only direction you can go to fix the system is to go to what's already worked in the United mm-hmm. States on the most difficult populations, elderly and chronically ill, and that's Medicare. Improve Medicare, and it has to be improved. Improve Medicare for all. That is the path. And I hope that Republicans, after they've tried this third time, three strikes and they're out, mm-hmm. that they recognize there's only one path, and that path is Medicare for all. And I think, you know, other countries, they recognize that when you have a health insurance that's for the poor, Mm -hmm. it's a poor system. And that when you have a universal health system that every person is in, Mm -hmm. it raises it up for everybody Mm -hmm. because, you know, people at the top are not going to tolerate a bad system. And Mm -hmm. they're the most, they tend to have the most voice. So Mm -hmm. it really, a universal system is a higher quality system because Mm -hmm. you drive, you know, drive it up, so. That's what we need. And that's what people want. And and we have legislation in Congress. Mm-hmm. We have a bill in the House, as you know, H.R. Mm-hmm. 676, the Expanded and Improved Medicare for All Act. We now have 102 co-sponsors for that. Which um, is about 10. I think the previous record was 93. Right. Oh, wow. So yeah, now we're 102. Yeah. And, and growing. Uh, and growing and every, day. People, every day. Because people are very active. People mm-hmm. have been going to the town halls. In fact, if we weren't here tonight, mm-hmm. we would be at our town hall in Baltimore mm-hmm. with our Health Care as a Human Rights well, campaign. Well, you came here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I promised you before yeah. I learned about the town yeah. hall. So there, we have a good team down there, mm-hmm. and they'll do they'll do a good job. And the healthcare human right campaign in Maryland partners with right put your, people first with your local We're part group. of that network. Yeah. Put, right. put people yeah. first, so people, people should first. know that group. Put people first. Yeah. Get involved locally uh, with that group because they're doing good work. Yeah, as Yeah, well. we try to get people all the time. We're always we're always trying to pull them in, and it's it's just I think. You know, I've talked to one of the co-founders, Nijmi, about this. Mm-hmm. That there just seems to be this this hopelessness and this learned helplessness that is so hard to get unstuck. That's why we call our yeah. campaign uh, Hope. Yeah. yeah, Health over profit for everyone. And be, anyway, this is a national campaign, so anyone, mm-hmm. everyone should really join it. Mm-hmm. Health over profit for everyone. It's uh, healthoverprofit.org. Mm-hmm. And uh, because we, the, the major, it's not, we, we know the solution. Mm-hmm. It's tried and true and proven. 
has public support. It has widespread public support. We know it'll stop those unnecessary deaths every year, those 30,000 unnecessary deaths. It'll stop the bankruptcies, the hundreds of thousands of bankruptcies for medical problems. Mm -hmm. We know it'll do all that. The problem we have is politics. Congress. And uh, you know, people feeling like they have no power, mm -hmm. that they can't win. And that Congress is just listening to the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies and Wall Street. And a lot of truth in that. Mm -hmm. But we also know, because we've done a lot of different issues, we've worked on lots of different issues, and we've won issues that people said you couldn't win. Mm -hmm. right. And we know we've won them. Mm -hmm. And so we know that people who are organized and mobilized can win. Mm -hmm. And they will win. And it doesn't even take that many people. You know, there's been a, a, more than 100 years now of uh, people using resistance movements and mm -hmm. Uh, you know, mobilize people to try to change things since Gandhi. You know, Gandhi is the 1890s. And since that time, there's been a lot of movements around the world. Mm -hmm. And what the research shows is that those movements always win if 3.5% of the population gets active. Right. Just 3.5% gets active. If we active. have national consensus on an issue. We already have national consensus on the issue. Right. That's the other ingredient. Mm -hmm. Right. The 3.5% has to represent a national consensus issue. And we have national consensus. Right. Mm -hmm. Two thirds of the public and growing supports improved Medicare for all. Right. And so we have national consensus. We just need the people to get active. And so hope, healthoverprofit.org mm -hmm. is how we're trying to get people active. This is how social transformation happens mm -hmm. is that you, you, the public does have the power. Mm -hmm. You have to just shift that whole political culture. And this is what we're doing with Medicare for all is making it the only politically acceptable solution. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, I'm, I feel very confident that we can win this. We're, we're confident that we can, uh, people, when they understand Medicare, we already have super majority support, mm -hmm. two thirds right. of the public. So right. we're, we, we, we have a head start. Uh, <laughs> right. Thanks to people who've worked on this for a long time. Yeah. But as the public learns about Medicare for all, including your Congress member, mm -hmm. as he learns about it, he's gonna realize it's the only path. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's gonna become, wants to be on the front of that wave. Yeah. because he does not want to be against something that's as popular as motherhood. And that's mm -hmm. what Medicare for All is going to be. It's going to be so popular that you do not want to oppose this. Every family in your, uh, your district will be benefited by having Medicare, an improved Medicare for All system. Mm -hmm. And you do not want to be the member of Congress who said, no, you can't have that. Yeah. Because you will be opposed. And even in a safe district, a mm -hmm. safe district will become an unsafe district mm -hmm. if you're on the wrong side of this issue. That's where this is going. And I hope that members of Congress see that coming because they need to get on board. They need to get educated. Once they get educated, they'll be on our side. Right. We're confident of that.